Congratulations to this year's Corn Ferry Tour graduates. I remember what it felt like to be in your position. It's super exciting, and I'm happy for each and every one of you. This is all about Ben Griffin, Gary. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, on getting your PGA Tour card. That's a day that I will never forget back in 2016, and uh, you've, earned every, you've earned every bit of it. If I could give you any advice, I would say um, just stick with, with what you got. I mean, it's, it's good enough to get out here, and I, I think if you just continue to, to work on your craft and not try to be anybody that you aren't, um, it'll take you a long ways. Congrats guys on making it out of the PGA Tour. Look forward to playing with y'all next year. Hey guys, congratulations. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you out here and uh, can't, wait to, can't wait to play some practice rounds and just really happy for all you guys. I know your hard work is, is really finally starting to pay off, so looking forward to seeing you out here. Let's go. Tour, baby. Let's go! Ah. <laughs> Congrats to all you Corn Ferry graduates. Looking forward to hanging out with you on tour. All you rookies can carry my bag from week to week. Congratulations to the 25 guys receiving their cards this year. Congrats guys on making the PGA Tour the top 25. Look forward to seeing you guys next year. Guys, it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to where you are today. Congratulations and welcome to the PGA Tour. Welcome to the PGA Tour, indeed. What a season it has been. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to officially welcome you to the Corn Ferry Tours 2022 PGA Tour Card Ceremony. Well, this is a very special evening indeed, as we look upon and celebrate the crowning achievement of getting that coveted PGA Tour card. It is amazing to reflect and to think back about all of the grit and determination and the hard work required by these 25 players to join us right here on the 18th green at the club at Indian Creek. And I know there are also many family members in attendance here, friends in attendance indeed, and you guys have had a front row seat to witness all of that hard work, that relentless pursuit to make the dream come true throughout the years. Well, with me this evening, I am pleased to introduce you and be joined by the president of the Corn Ferry Tour, Alex Baldwin, as well as the CEO of Corn Ferry, Gary Burnison. 
Well, in just a few moments, we will, oh yes, we will introduce you to the players who have earned their PGA Tour cards for the 2022-2023 PGA Tour season. We'd like to once again congratulate them on an incredible year. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for them and all of their achievements. Now, I, for one, look forward to covering you and everything that you're going to do in the game down the road, but we also look forward to rooting for you as they're on the PGA Tour and they follow in the footsteps of so many incredible legends and stars in the game that got their start right here on the Corn Ferry Tour. But before we meet this year's graduates, I would like to introduce the CEO of Corn Ferry, Gary Burnison. Gary, come on up. Thank you. Um, you know, potential is all about opportunity. Uh, it's the intersection of what was with what can be. And when we actualize our potential, we find the next gateway, the next path. And that's what this Corn Ferry Tour is all about. So on behalf of 11,000 colleagues around the world, congratulations to the 25. Way to go. And now we'd like to introduce Alex Baldwin, the president of the Corn Ferry Tour. Thank you very much, Gary. Lauren, thank you for being here with us today. Um, I am honored to be here in Omaha to celebrate an amazing season and recognize the accomplishments of the top 25 Corn Ferry Tour players as they take the next step in their careers to play on the PGA Tour. Three years ago, Scotty Scheffler was the number one player of the 25. Today, he's a four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Masters champion, and the number one player in the world. Carl, no pressure. Anything is possible. And like Scotty, you all have put in the work. You've proven that you can play at the highest level and have earned your spot to play with the very best in the world on the PGA Tour. The Corn Ferry Tour's mission is to identify, prepare, and transition the best players from around the world to compete and win on golf's biggest stage. We have nine countries and six continents represented in this year's class. Getting to this point was not easy. There were 25 different paths taken to get here. But something you all have in common is a tremendous amount of passion, commitment, belief in yourselves and your ability. As you all well know, this tour is a family and it has been an absolutely amazing ride getting to know all of you, your stories, your hardships, and your triumphs. We are so proud and grateful for all that you do to make the Corn Ferry Tour so special. On behalf of our organization, I would like to express our thanks to each of our members and every individual who has played a role in the success of the Corn Ferry Tour. Gary and Corn Ferry, thank you. Jessica and the Pinnacle Bank Championship team, thank you for all that you do. The incredible staff from the club at Indian Creek. Your golf course is absolutely exceptional. Thank you. We have amazing partners here in Omaha, Pinnacle Bank, Support Nebraska, Aetna, and all of our other local sponsors. Thank you so much for showcasing the very best of the Corn Ferry Tour. All the volunteers this week and every week who make our events possible, thank you. 
and to the fans here in Omaha, you are awesome. Thank you for making this a week to remember. I am so proud and honored to be here representing this tour and our hardworking and passionate team. I'm proud of the work we do and the role we play in supporting our players and engaging our communities. We are only getting started, and I can assure you that the future is very bright. We have now concluded our 2022 regular season. We've had 23 events. We've traveled to four different countries and 15 different states. I do want to acknowledge the sacrifices, all the family members and friends who have been there every step of the way, every community that has warmly embraced us, and the determination that everyone has shown to reach this point. Today marks a milestone in our sport like no other and we celebrate these extraordinary players achieving their dream of playing on the PGA Tour. You, each of you, has earned your place to compete with the top players in the world. And now you can showcase what you are capable of achieving. Congratulations and keep making us proud, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Gary. And ladies and gentlemen, it is about that time that we have all been waiting for, and it is an honor to now officially recognize the following players who will be playing on the PGA Tour for the 2022-2023 season. Oh yeah, now in alphabetical order, please congratulate each player as they come up to receive their PGA Tour card. Unfortunately for our first player, he could not be with us this afternoon, but we will start off with the 29-year-old Georgia Tech alum who won the Visit Knoxville Open and is making a return to the PGA Tour. That is Anders Albertson from Atlanta, Georgia. And now moving on to a 34-year-old University of Florida alum, this two-time Corn Ferry Tour winner, became the first player in history to successfully defend a title, winning both the 2021 and the 2022 Veritex Bank Championship. The second member of his family to earn a PGA Tour card from Gainesville, Florida, Tyson Alexander. A 30-year-old who played for the international team in the 2019 President's Cup and has made four FedEx Cup playoffs appearances. He won the LeeCom Suncoast Classic to ensure a speedy return to the PGA Tour. Ladies and gentlemen from South Korea, Ben On. A 34-year-old Austin P. alum who played professionally since 2011. This proud husband and father racked up six top 10 finishes this season and earned his PGA Tour card from Marion, Indiana, Eric Barnes. Yeah, baby. Come on. Come on. A 29-year-old Virginia Tech alum, this two-time Corn Ferry Tour winner, secured his first PGA Tour card with a win at the Advent Health Championship and a runner-up finish at last week's Utah Championship presented by Zion's Bank. From Charlotte, North Carolina, Trevor Cohn.
a third a 33 year old Lamar University alum. He played his way through the Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament last fall and posted three podium finishes this season to earn his first PGA Tour card. Ladies and gentlemen from Pretoria, South Africa, MJ Duffy. A 25-year-old native from Henan, China, who earned his first PGA Tour card at the age of 20. This three-time Corn Ferry Tour winner is now heading back to the tour once again, thanks to a victory at the Ascendant presented by Blue. From Beijing, China, Marty Doe. A 26-year-old from Down Under, the now Scottsdale, Arizona resident, worked his way from PGA Tour Latino America to the Corn Ferry Tour and won the Huntsville Championship by five strokes to earn his first PGA Tour card. From Sydney, Australia, Harrison Endicott. A 26-year-old University of North Carolina alum, he stepped away from professional golf last year and worked as a mortgage loan officer. But after making his return and posting three runner-up finishes this season, he's headed back to the PGA Tour, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Ben Griffin. A 34-year-old Georgia Tech alum and native Texan, this two-time Corn Ferry Tour winner is returning to the PGA Tour for the first time in a decade, following a three-stroke victory at the Memorial Health Championship presented by LRS. Ladies and gentlemen from Dallas, Texas, Paul Haley II. A 25-year-old University of Nevada Las Vegas alum from across the pond. This two-time Corn Ferry Tour winner birdied five of the last seven holes in regulation and made three consecutive birdies in a playoff to win the NV5 Invitational presented by Old National Bank. He's headed to the PGA Tour for the first time from Cornwall, England, Harry Hall. A 29-year-old former PGA Tour winner and Jack Nicklaus Award recipient while at Cal Berkeley. He's headed back to the PGA Tour after two top five finishes in his last four starts from Dallas, Texas, Michael Kim. A 23-year-old with four international victories, he played his way through the Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament just last fall and recorded two runner-up finishes this season to earn his first PGA Tour card. From Changwon, South Korea, S.H. Kim.
a 28-year-old Temple University alum who won last season's PGA Tour Latino America Order of Merit. He won the Astara Golf Championship presented by MasterCard after a runner-up finish at the Panama Championship en route to his first PGA Tour card. From DuPont, Pennsylvania, Brandon Matthews. A 27-year-old University of Nevada, Las Vegas alum. He finished 26 on both points lists last season, but bounced back this year with multiple runner-up finishes to earn his PGA Tour card. Ladies and gentlemen from Las Vegas, Nevada, Taylor Montgomery. A 24-year-old who gave up hockey as a teenager to pursue a professional golf career. He maintained his spot in the 25 with a top 40 finish this week and a pair of podium finishes this season. Enjoy that walk, ladies and gentlemen, from Stockholm, Sweden, Vincent Norman. A 29-year-old Argentinian who led the Corn Ferry Tour with nine top 10 finishes this season, this 10-year professional and three-time PGA Tour Latino America winner is headed to the PGA Tour for the first time. From Tucumán, Argentina, Augusto Núñez. A 32-year-old Long Beach State alum and Syracuse, New York native, he earned a spot in the 25 with four top 10 finishes this season. Ladies and gentlemen, he's following in his father's footsteps to the PGA Tour membership from Tampa, Florida, Kevin Roy. A 26-year-old University of Alabama alum, this now four-time Corn Ferry Tour winner is headed back to the PGA Tour after a win at the BMW Charity Pro-Am presented by TD Cinex, as well as today right here in Omaha, Nebraska, winning the Pinnacle Bank Championship, the regular season finale from Wilmer, Alabama, Robbie Shelton. A 25-year-old University of South California alum, he recorded eight top 10 finishes this season alone, including a runner-up at the Utah Championship presented by Zion's Bank. He's headed to the PGA Tour for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen from San Jose, California, Justin Suh. A 30-year-old Louisiana State University alum and past Corn Ferry Tour winner, he solidified an immediate return to the PGA Tour with a solo second place this week and a runner-up finish at the Huntsville Championship. From London, England, Ben Taylor. A 
a University of Georgia graduate and PGA Tour University alum. He won the Rex Hospital Open on his 23rd birthday and clinched a PGA Tour card in his first full season on the Corn Ferry Tour. Ladies and gentlemen, from St. Simons Island, Georgia, Davis Thompson. A 24-year-old University of Arizona graduate and PGA Tour University alum, he won last year's PGA Tour Canada Order of Merit and emerged victorious at the 2022 Lake Charles Championship in a thrilling three-hole playoff. He's headed to the PGA Tour for the first time from Tucson, Arizona, Trevor Werbelow. A 24-year-old Arizona State alum who joined the Corn Ferry Tour through PGA Tour University. He recorded three podium finishes this season and will be a PGA Tour rookie this fall. From Chinese Taipei, Kevin Yu. And at number one on the Corn Ferry Tour points list, this 25-year-old University of Washington alum and 2021 Olympian won the Chitty Matcha Louisiana Open presented by Miss Truss and recorded another four podium finishes. From Dalian, China, Carl Yuan. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to further celebrate this momentous occasion by raising a glass. And to help us do so, we welcome back our president of the Corn Ferry Tour, Alex Baldwin. Okay, gentlemen, can I please have everyone rise to their feet? Oh boy. All right, gentlemen, can you please, could everyone please rise to their feet? Please stand. Each of you have spent your lives determined to make it to the PGA Tour. Some of you are returning, and some of you will be rookies competing against the best players in the world. You've earned this moment. Enjoy it, and know that you have no bigger fans than your family on the Corn Ferry Tour. We will be rooting for you every step of the way, and we can't wait to watch you realize your greatest dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glass for this year's Corn Ferry Tour Class of the 25. Cheers. as they continue to sip that champagne, because ladies and gentlemen, we know that they have earned it. Thank you for joining us today, right here in Omaha, Nebraska, for the card ceremony and in congratulating these players on their success. We truly look forward to the great play on the PGA Tour in the upcoming season. We would like to have all of you join us for a reception, welcoming these players to the PGA Tour. And to our graduates, you know what to do. Head on over to the video board for a traditional class photo. Thank you, and have a great evening, everyone.